ladies, seven things ruining your outfit. I have been a stylist and an influencer for over 10 years, and these are things that I have seen women do for many, many years that ruin their outfits. Now listen, I am not judging anyone. I have actually done a few of these things myself. So I have lived, I have learned through my own mistakes, and I am here to share them with all of you. So I will not only be sharing the seven things that could ruin your outfit, I will also be sharing what you can do and what you should do instead to elevate all of your looks. If you haven't already, please hit that little subscribe button. I do publish two new videos every single week, and I did start my channel about four years ago, really to help women of all ages look and feel like the best versions of themselves, because I truly believe that the clothes we put on our body every single day have the influence to affect our mood, they have the influence to affect our brain chemistry, which means that the clothes that we put on our body absolutely affect the way we feel. And so I am not only trying to help you look better, I am also trying to help you feel better as well. Okay, the first thing that could be ruining your outfits is wearing clothes that don't fit you properly. So whether that means you're wearing clothes that are too tight or too big, it really doesn't matter. Either one will definitely ruin your outfit. So listen, if you have clothes that are too big, my number one tip is to utilize your tailor. So I live in Dallas. My favorite tailor is on Sherry Lane. And the, the name of the tailor is escaping me right now, but I will definitely leave it in my description box down below and everything that I am talking about will be linked down below in my description box along with sizing information as well but sometimes I will buy jeans that are too long I will take the heel that I'm going to wear the jeans with to the tailor so that she can um, you know hem them to fit my leg length perfectly if I have a blazer that's too big for example I will take it to my tailor have her shorten the sleeves or you know take it in at the waist same thing goes for a dress so utilize your tailor in order to get your clothes to fit you properly of course the main goal is to not have to use a tailor you should be buying the correct size if you're not sure of what size you wear obviously consult with the sales lady at the store wherever you go you could always take selfies in the mirror send them to your best friend so again sometimes as we age maybe we gain weight and we think like oh if we wear clothes that are bigger than i really am it's going to hide those camouflage areas it's going to make me look smaller than i really am but wearing clothes that are too big and too baggy all over actually make you look bigger than you really are and if you wear clothes that are too tight you will end up looking like you're trying too hard, like you're trying to dress too young. So the key is to pick items that form to your figure, that fit your figure, that flatter your figure, and they aren't too tight and they aren't too big. So this is a great outfit that fits me perfectly. This is an Alice and Olivia fitted blazer. You guys, this blazer is an awesome denim blazer. It's actually on sale right now. I think it's like 30% off. So it's a great time to grab this blazer. You can wear a denim blazer all year round. I went to church yesterday and this is the exact outfit that I wore. I paired this denim blazer over this nude bodysuit. Also another fitted garment. I love bodysuits because they're great layering pieces to wear underneath jackets. You don't get any bunching around the waist line so that's always a plus as well and then I just um, paired it with this amazing midi skirt this one is by frame denim it's a crochet midi skirt it's also on sale I think it's 30% off as well so what a great find this is a really cool summer staple you can dress it up with heels but then you could also pair it with like a simple white tank top and some gold slides and have a really fabulous casual summer look reason number two you could be ruining your outfit is if you wear clothes that wrinkle, like literally that is my worst pet peeve. So I will not buy linen because it wrinkles and it doesn't matter how much you iron it or steam it before you wear it, you put it on and within an hour or two, the linen garment is wrinkled. So that goes for other materials as well that wrinkle. I just wouldn't wear materials that wrinkle. So rest assured, anything that I sell on my channel or on my blog, on my Instagram page, everything is 100% wrinkle free because it is my pet peeve like I said. Said. If you wear clothes and they're wrinkled, you're just going to look like not as polished and put together as you could look if you were to choose fabrics that don't wrinkle. 
Now, if you do get a garment in that does wrinkle, I love this Stanley steamer that I swear by. I've had it for years. I use it probably a couple times a week. It's super easy. It's very fast. I can steam a garment in less than two minutes. It gets all the wrinkles out. So if you don't already own a Stanley steamer, I highly recommend it. You can order them on Amazon. They also have the small portable steamers, which I love when I travel. I travel with the small portable steamer. That way when I get to my destination, if my clothes have wrinkled in my suitcase, I can pull this trusty travel steamer out and voila, all of the wrinkles from my clothes are gone and I will look like a better version of myself in my clothes because they won't be wrinkled. But my favorite way to avoid wrinkles is choosing wrinkle-free fabric in the first place. And this Legeant's Knit Blazer is amazing, ladies. It's like a blazer slash cardigan combination. It is so comfortable. I love this beige neutral color. It does come with gold buttons or tan buttons. So the one I'm wearing has tan buttons on it. Very polished, very sophisticated, very modern and chic. You could wear this blazer with denim like I have here, or you could pair it with some pants or slacks and wear it to the office but I loved this soft blazer by Legeance. I paired it over a bodysuit again avoiding the bunching around the waistline and then these are some amazing Legeance high-waisted flares that I swear by. They are the most universally flattering style of denim on the market. The fit of these jeans is impeccable. They hug your curves in all the right places and they hold their shape really well. Okay, the third reason that you could be ruining your outfit is showing your panty lines. So when you wear panties, if you turn around and maybe you have on a midi dress, maybe you have on a midi skirt, in your panty lines, you can see them through the garment. This is a definite no, ladies. Just, just don't do that, right? So if I ever have on a midi skirt or a midi dress, I'm most likely not going to wear panties and instead I will be wearing Spanx. So I've talked about my favorite pair of Spanx multiple times on my channel because they are that good. They smooth everything out. They hold everything in. Another pet peeve of mine in addition to showing panty lines in your garments is when you show like cellulite or loose skin that you can see through thin material. That will ruin your outfit in two seconds. So another way to combat that is the same thing I mentioned a second ago wear Spanx. They will make you look up to 10 pounds slimmer. They will hold everything in. They will smooth out your skin. They're just amazing. So if you don't wear Spanx with your form-fitting clothes, I highly recommend it. Now, if you have on a dress that is lined, the material is not super thin, you can get away with wearing regular panties. The ones I recommend and that I personally wear are the seamless underwear. I have two brands that I love. One is by Commando. They are so comfortable, so soft, no seams whatsoever. So if you have these on with a fitted dress or mini skirt, you're not going to see them. And then Soma also makes some of my favorite favorite pairs of seamless underwear. In fact, around the bottom of the underwear, they put like this little strip so that they don't slip around on your skin. So you will never have to reach around and pick at them if they're uncomfortable or what have you. But seamless underwear is the key if you don't want to show your panty lines when you're wearing clothes. So I have on the Spanx with this amazing French Connection burgundy dress. You guys, this dress is amazing, perfect for fall. Burgundy is gonna be such a big color this fall. It's trending really hard. This dress is $59, ladies. It comes in three different colors, black, burgundy, and ivory. It's a great wardrobe staple. I paired it with some fabulous black boots and then a black on black Rebecca Minkoff handbag. But definitely wear your Spanx if you're gonna wear this fabulous form-fitting dress or any other form-fitting dress or midi skirt for that matter. Okay, item number four that could be ruining your outfit are black chunky shoes or shoes that are worn out. So let's tackle the second one first, worn out shoes. Don't wear shoes that look really old. Don't wear shoes that are scuffed, that are torn, that are ruined, that have the heels all messed up. Like just don't wear them, get rid of them, give them away, bring someone else joy, or you could take them up to Dino's. If you live in Dallas, that's my favorite place to take shoes that I've worn a ton. And if they have a lot of scuffs on them, Dino's is great about you know resurfacing or replacing the sole, replacing the heel and getting all of the scuffs out because nothing ruins an outfit more than a bad worn out pair of shoes. Now, the black chunky shoes can also ruin an outfit 
outfit. They don't even have to be chunky. They can just be black shoes. If you have on black shoes with like a white dress or a light colored dress, your eyes are going to be drawn to the shoes and they're not going to be drawn to your beautiful outfit and your beautiful face. So that's why the majority of the shoes that I own and that I wear are either nude, gold, or silver. Why? Because gold or silver or nude shoes blend in with your outfit. They blend in with your legs. They also make you look taller and slimmer. In fact, I just did a video on 10 simple ways to look slimmer instantly. I will be sure and link that down below. But that's why I wear nude or gold heels like literally with almost every outfit because they blend in. They're not going to ruin my outfit. They're going to in fact make my outfit look better. Now, if I am gonna wear black shoes, I will make sure that my outfit is also black or a darker color so that it blends in. One thing I will never do, and that is guaranteed to ruin your outfit, is wearing like a white dress or a light colored dress with black shoes. I don't care how dainty or strappy the black shoes are. This is a fashion no. A fashion faux pas, definitely don't do that. So this is a beautiful black fitted dress by Stodd. So I'm not wearing regular panties with this dress. I am taking my own fashion advice and I am wearing my go-to Spanx because they make me look slimmer and they just make me feel better. So this dress is amazing. It hugs your curves in all the right places. But as you can see, if I were to pair it with the Legence Mules, it doesn't look terrible. It's not like super bad or anything. However, if I pair it with the Stuart Weidsman Daintier, thinner strapped black heels, my legs look longer, my whole silhouette looks taller and slimmer. And I just think they elevate my outfit versus the Legence mules. So I would say this, like I said, if you're gonna wear black heels, make sure they're dainty and strappy and not chunky. And if you're gonna wear black shoes, make sure that your outfit is a darker color. Never pair black shoes with a lighter colored outfit. Another thing that can ruin your outfit is choosing the wrong hemlines, choosing the wrong lengths. So when you're wearing high-waisted flares, for example, like these Legence flares that I'm wearing, you want to make sure that the hemline is one-eighth of an inch off of the floor. You want to make sure that they're not too short. You guys know how I feel about cropped flares. I think flares are meant to have a floor-skimming hemline. I know, I know the cropped flares were really big last year, and I still see women with wearing them, but I just think they're so unflattering. They cut off your leg. Like, I don't care how tall you are. I don't care if you're a six foot model and you weigh 115 pounds. Cropped flares are not going to be the most flattering type of jean on you. So I would say if you're going to wear a flare, keep the hemline one eighth to one quarter of an inch off of the floor. And always do this too, ladies. Bring your shoes with you, the exact shoes that you're going to be wearing with the jeans so that you can make sure you get the hem length correct. Now, if you're going to wear a straight leg, I would make sure these, the straight leg jeans or the modern skinny jean, are one inch, no more than two inches above the ankle bone. If you get them too short, again, they're going to be, they're going to look too cropped. They're going to be like that old style, like capri pant, which has been out of style for many, many years. So don't ever wear that, right? So if you're going to do the straight leg or the modern skinny jean, just think one inch to two inches above the ankle, and that is it. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing right now, but I wanted to show you all these Legence jeans and show you that they are about one eighth of an inch off of the floor. I have on a three inch heel with this outfit. It is a nude heel. Notice I didn't wear a black chunky heel with this outfit. Otherwise it would have cut my legs off. It would also brought the focus down to my black shoes. And that's not what you want to do, ladies. You want your outfit to be one flowing, beautiful silhouette so that it's always going to make you look taller and slimmer and make you feel like a better version of yourself. I paired these really flattering Legence flares with this beautiful tweed blazer. This is also by Legence. What a great blazer, you guys. So polished, so sophisticated, great for the office, great for going out, great for church, great for Sunday brunch. Like literally the possibilities are endless because this beautiful tweed blazer can be worn so many different ways into so many different places. Now here's how you want to wear your straight leg jeans. Like I said, 
These are called the Mother Rider Jean. They are my favorite silhouette that Mother makes. It is a high-waisted straight leg jean. And as you can see, these hit me right at my ankle bone, maybe even a little bit lower. That's how I like to wear them. I don't wanna wear these jeans too short above the ankle bone because that would just not look right. My legs wouldn't look as long and it literally would ruin my outfit. So I did also wear this easy rust color t-shirt. This is by Nudes. Nudes is one of my favorite brands of t-shirts and bodysuits. The fabric is so soft. The price point's amazing and they have really beautiful rich colors. This day I went to the Nudes event. They had this really cool like um, food truck and just lots of music and, and a coffee bar. It was super fun, but it was like 100 degrees this day, so I didn't wear a jacket. But this top is a bit cropped, but if you pair it with high-waisted denim, you're not gonna show too much of your skin. Okay, the next thing that could ruin your outfit is a worn out handbag. So this is the same thing as the worn out shoes. You don't wanna wear a worn out handbag with your outfit or you will ruin your entire outfit. You don't have to carry a designer bag. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that make sure that the handbag you are carrying is high quality. Make sure it's not scuffed up. Make sure that the strap is in good shape. Make sure that the entire bag is in good shape, that there's no fraying, that it just doesn't look old, okay? So some of my favorite affordable handbags Mark Jacobs makes a phenomenal handbag he has tons of different styles this ivory bag with the gold chain is one of my favorite bags that Mark Jacobs makes it also comes in black this is a real leather high quality handbag but it won't break the bank it's definitely gonna elevate all of your outfits and not ruin them at all another one of my favorite handbags this one is a designer bag but I carry it like almost all the time in the fall and winter, and this would be the YSL Hobo bag. It is croc embossed, it has beautiful YSL um, gold hardware on it, so I love black and gold. It's one of my favorite color combinations to wear. I've had this bag for about two years now, and I bet I've carried it well over 100 times, so I definitely get my cost per wear out of it. I paired it with these amazing YSL kitten heels. These are a black heel, but as you can see, I'm following my own rule because I'm pairing it with a black outfit number one and number two the black shoes are not chunky they're more of a strappy dainty feminine heel now back to that Marc Jacobs ivory bag. I paired it with this amazing camel midi dress slash cardigan. You can wear this dress as a cardigan and you could unbutton it, wear it over a tank top with some denim, or you can button this midi dress and wear it as a dress like I have here. So it is very flattering, very slimming. I do have on my trusty Spanx with this dress, no panty lines, right? And then I topped it with this fabulous chocolate brown, beautiful oversized blazer. And then I went with some amazing Using bronze platforms but I love the way this look turned out very slimming and definitely the handbag because it is polished it is new it is clean it doesn't ruin my outfit okay reason number seven that you could be ruining your outfit is not paying attention to portions so I talk about this all the time if you are wearing something that's oversized on the top of your body like an oversized blazer you want to make sure that the bottom and your top are fitted so you want to make sure that your jeans or your pants or your skirt are fitted and that your top is fitted vice versa if you're wearing some oversized baggy pants or baggy jeans for example you want to make sure that the top portion of your body whatever you're wearing on top is fitted you never ever want to go baggy on baggy oversized on oversized that will make you just look out of proportion that will make you look bigger than you really are and it is not flattering and it will definitely ruin your outfit so this is is a blank NYC glossy oversized moto jacket. I love this jacket. It's a great price point. Blank NYC makes some of my favorite faux leather jackets. And then I paired it over a fitted outfit because the jacket is oversized. So this is a very simple fitted strapless top from Express. It's a ribbed material, so it's gonna hug your curves in all the right places. And then this is a denim midi skirt, you guys, by Hudson Jeans. I'm obsessed with this skirt. The faded black denim is so on point. It's a bit edgy, which matches my personal style perfectly. And then I went with my YSL hobo bag and those fabulous strappy YSL kitten heels.
So those were the seven things that you could be doing that could be ruining your outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite tip was because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you have a fabulous day because you deserve it and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.